Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Uh, today we're going to go through legal problem 1576. Replace all question marks to avoid consecutive repeating characters. Let's take a look at the problem first. Given a string S containing only lowercase English letters and the question mark character, to convert all of the question mark characters into lowercase letters such that the final string does not contain any consecutive repeating characters. You cannot modify the non question mark characters. It's guaranteed that there are no such there are no consecutive repeating characters in the given string except for question mark. Return the final string after the conversion. Possibly zero have been made. If there is more than one solution, return any one of them. It can be shown that an answer is always possible with the given constraints. Let's just take a look at the a few examples. Question mark Z and S. It returns A Z S. It says there are 25 solutions for this problem. You can use A Z S or B Z S or C Z S, but you cannot use Z Z S, right? Because Z Z is consecutive, the same character. That's the only violation. So we don't use that. As long as you return any other one of the 25 solutions, you are good. Now, uh, the same goes for this example too. Now let's take a look at a kind of special example is example three and four because it has consecutive question marks, right? So here, the first question mark, you can replace that with anything, with any character other than J and Q. But for the second question marks, it has two consecutive question marks, in which case we need to make sure that the one, the second question mark don't collide with the one that we just replaced right before that. That's the only thing that we need to take care of. So if we think about this problem, it's very straight, it's labeled as easy and it's very straightforward as well. So in any character inside a given string has how many neighbors at most? Has only two neighbors at most, right? Except for the first and the last character, which has only one neighbor. For the first character, it has only the right neighbor. For the last character, it has only the left neighbor. For everything else in between, it has two neighbors, right? So for two neighbors, you only want to make sure that the one, if that one is a question mark that we are finding a replacement for, do not repeat its left and right neighbors. So if we can think about that, the solution is very straightforward. We can only we only need three characters. We can use ABC or BCD or DCE, right? So we can just toggle between the three character candidates, right? As long as the one that we're going to use, we decide to use, is not the same as its left and right neighbors, then we're good. Easy as that. So with that in mind, let's just start writing code. We can just go through this string pass this string into an array of characters so that for easy manipulation, whenever we encounter a question mark, we'll just check if it has left or right neighbors. If it has both, we'll just make sure that this one that we're trying to replace with is not the same as its left and right neighbors. And in, then in the end, we'll just convert the array of characters back into a string and return, right? Uh, that's just the idea. Let's put the idea into actual code. So first, we'll convert this into an a character array. Uh, no, it's string to char array. Now next, we'll have a for loop. Start from zero. Array length i plus plus. So if we only want to replace anything, that is a question mark, right? So if this one equals to a question mark, we want to do this. We want to toggle between three characters. So we can use another loop, it's just, it's just three. So no big deal, zero, one, two, right? So we can use this very small for loop. So we want to check if this one has a left neighbor, right? So we want to check if i is greater than zero. That means it's not the first character, which means it has a left neighbor. So we want to check if this one left neighbor is equals to what the first character so we'll just use abc in this case all of these three characters that's good enough so if we want to check if this one equals to a or b or c right if the if the left neighbor equals to a or b or c we'll just skip it in this case we'll continue 
Otherwise, we'll check if this one has a right neighbor. So if i is smaller than array length minus one, then, and also we want to check if array plus one, that means it's right neighbor equals to what? Equals to still a plus j. That means we want to check if if the question marks right neighbor equals to a or b or c. If it's one of those cases, we'll just continue, right? Otherwise, that means otherwise it means it's left or right neighbor is not equal to a or b or c. Then we're just happy, right? This character is not a or b or c. Then it's safe that we can just assign this character into the ith position of the array character of the character of arrays, right? So that means we'll just put this one convert into convert this one into a char plus i into a char and assign this char into the i position of the character array right then we can just break out add a little small break here because there is a total of only we do this only three times this is a very minute loop minute for loop zero one two we do it only three times because at most one character has only two neighbors so we're good enough we only need to toggle between these three um, candidate characters and then in the end we'll just return we can just convert this uh this character array into a string all right now let me hit submit and uh, now let me hit run code all right uh run code is accepted now let me hit submit all right it's also accepted 100 percent, 80 percent uh we can further simplify this into because these two continues could be combined let me just uh, although it's easier to understand because it's two different logic we are comparing its left and right neighbors but still we can combine these into this will make it less readable of course but the code is shorter if you can get it it's very straightforward okay 100 percent it doesn't make too much big of a difference it's just uh, the code so it's either it's either this one has a left neighbor or it has a right neighbor and then we check if it's left neighbor or right neighbor is not consecutive repeating characters that's it for this problem very straightforward i hope this video helps people understand this problem it's labeled as an easy problem but it's good for string or character manipulation and uh, if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm and help me out tremendously. I really appreciate it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have accumulated quite a few different legal tutorials, data structure and algorithms, and also Amazon Web Services tutorials. So I really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds in my other videos. Thank you very much for watching.